Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that is inspired by the idea of one of my most recent videos, which is this one. I asked you guys on my Instagram story your advice on how to get over a reading slump and you were so helpful and so wonderful in your responses and I featured your comments in that video and you guys seemed to really enjoy that and I got a wonderful comment on that video from a person named Caitlin and she said that what if I did a similar video with people's favorite books and I can react to their favorite books, talk about favorite books, and basically just ask you guys what your favorite books are and make a video from that. So that is what I am doing today. I am so excited. I wrote down a very long list of the books that repeated the most. Something that I found really interesting was that a lot of them were classics. Most of the books that you guys said were your favorites are classics. All of these, the top 10, are all classics, and I just feel like you guys are at the right channel. You are, you are here for a reason, because obviously I also love classics as well. So it was so wonderful to see all your favorite books, and I loved doing that because it was a great way to get recommendations from you guys. So I hope that what this video can do is give you recommendations. Maybe it could be interesting to see the books that a lot of people love and that we all have in common. I'm just very excited. So I think what I'm going to do is the first part of this video I am going to just screen record my phone and react a little bit to your favorite books, talk a little bit about them so you guys can see how much certain ones did repeat. And I thought it would be fun that maybe you guys could guess what you think the number one book would be or maybe like the top three of the most popular books of people's favorites. So, so many people answered and I appreciate that so much and I'm so grateful. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get through everyone's, but I am just going to go through all of them. Um, I'm not going to read all of them out just because if I did, we would be here all day. But I thought that I would read out the ones that repeated the most so you guys can sort of get a hint at what these books are. I really love making you guys part of my videos. So if you guys like this idea of answering a question I put on my Instagram or something, definitely let me know and follow me on Instagram if you want to participate so that you guys can know when I ask you questions for videos. Okay, so I'm going to screen record my phone right now. Here it is, and we are just going to begin. Okay, the first one I see is from my friend Kiara, and she said Pride and Prejudice. I love Pride and Prejudice. It is also one of my favorite books, so I'm not surprised at all to see that one. Then we have, um, for fiction, it is Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings is another one that I saw quite a lot. Uh, as Sarah said, you can't make me choose between Jane Eyre and Song of Achilles. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sarah. I did ask you guys to only name one because if you named more than one, we would be here all day long. Um, but many of you named two, so that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. I understand. I feel like every time someone asks me what my favorite book is, I have a mental breakdown and I'm like, no, I, ca I can't just pick one. So I completely understand. Um, Sarah also said, this question is cruel and unusual punishment. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Sarah. Can we still be friends? Um, okay. Erica also said Pride and Prejudice. Let's see, we have our first Anna Karenina, amazing. Then Wuthering Heights, another one of my favorite books, so, so good. Equal Parts Revenge Tale and Love Story of Two Terrible People, indeed. Also, if you can hear any snoring, Willow is currently taking her usual nap on my lap, so I hope you don't mind. Then Lucy said Guess. I am going to guess that it is Lord of the Rings because that is her favorite book ever, so I think I'm correct. Then we have Scott, he said Wuthering Heights and Slaughterhouse-Five. I am actually currently reading Slaughterhouse-Five right now because of Scott, so I can definitely see why it's one of his favorite books. I'm really enjoying it and also Wuthering Heights, amazing. One of my favorite books ever, so complex, so dark, so amazing. Then we also have Pride and Prejudice, kind of polar opposite to Wuthering Heights in a way. Um, another Pride and Prejudice, love it. Then we have another Jane Eyre, or is that the first Jane Eyre? That might be the first Jane Eyre. Yes, the first Jane Eyre. It feels unfair without dividing by country, but if it's one book, Middlemarch, okay. Um, then we have Frankenstein, 
to the lighthouse is the only one you've not read i think from my favorites that's from melena i haven't read it to to the lighthouse but i really want to soon so hopefully i will read that one very very soon um then we have the master and margarita Ooh, i'm hoping to read that one as well the nightingale by Kristen hannah that's another book that i really love it's a fantastic historical fiction book probably my favorite historical fiction like uh contemporary historical fiction Jane Eyre again The Elegance of the Hedgehog I haven't actually read but I've heard wonderful things Circe by Madeline Miller another Jane Eyre A Little Princess definitely Anna Karenina amazing you are in the right place you are on the right channel Tug Everlasting so good The Secret History Alice in Wonderland Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy I'm not a super big science fiction fan but I do know so many people love that book um, Kindred by Octavia Butler. I know she's supposed to be amazing. Kafka on the Shore. There is, I did see a lot of Murakami. Little Women and Pride and Prejudice. Little Women's also another one of my very favorite books. And of course, Pride and, Pre Pride and Prejudice. Let's see, Tale of Two Cities. A, lo a few people I didn't notice said The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. I have heard mixed things about that one though. Um, Beowulf. And that's one I haven't read yet and I'm kind of intimidated to read. I don't know why. Um, another saying Anna Karenina. Another saying The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Pride and Prejudice. Haven't finished it yet, but War and Peace. War and Peace is great. Oh, I'm so glad you're loving it. Robin said The Bell Jar, Always and Forever. I am really excited to read The Bell Jar. I actually have not yet read it, which is kind of shameful. We have another person saying War and Peace. We have someone saying The Thorn Birds. I have been seeing that book around a lot recently. I have no idea why, and I'm really intrigued. I have no clue what it's about, but I definitely want to give it a read, or at least look into it. So, uh, Anna Karenina again. Um, they put a laughing face next to Anna Karenina. You're in the right place. You're in the right place. Um, Little Women and Anne of Green Gables, two of my very favorite books. Oops, I hit on Emma's. Emma said War and Peace, Thousand Splendid Suns, Gone with the Wind, North and South, Train Spotting. I've heard a lot about Train Spotting as a book and a film, but I have yet to read it or watch it. I don't even really know what it's about, but I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I have to I'll have to look into that. A Thousand Splendid Suns, Norwegian Wood, Gulag Archipelago and Brothers Karamazov. I can tell you like long Russian classics, amazing. Peter Pan had been my favorite since I was little and I always come back to it. Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. I don't love a Frankenstein. I feel like every time I say that, people are going to yell at me. <laughs> I don't know why, I just didn't love it. Um, the Great Gatsby, hands down, completely agree. Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I read that a few years ago and I actually really liked that, so that's good. I know so many people love Taylor Jenkins Reid. Um, let's see, Song of Achilles, Anna Karenina, Amazing, War and Peace and Emma, The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde, A Perfume by Patrick Suskind, that is a book that has never left my brain. So good, so unique, um, an amazing book, The Count of Monte Cristo, uh, I, that's probably the longest book on my TBR, is it? I have a few long books on my TBR, but The Count of Monte Cristo is one that I really want to read soon. The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane by Kate DiCamillo, one of my very favorite books ever since I was a kid. I've been reading a lot of Kate DiCamillo books recently and have been enjoying, uh, thoroughly enjoying myself. Uh, then we have The God of Small Things, The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna again. Let's see. Don't have one favorite book lover here, but I do really love The Secret Garden. I know, I feel like you guys have been, you guys were yelling at me, like, how can I pick just one? Um, but I also love The Secret Garden, so completely agree. Another Bell Jar, another Wuthering Heights, even though it's quite dark, is my fave of all time. Call Me By Your Name by Andrew Essiman, one of my favorite books ever. Another Master and Margarita. Northern Grabby, one of my favorite classics. And Piranesi is one of my favorite contemporaries. I really want to read... Northern Grabby as my Jane Austen of this year. I meant to read it last year with my friend Sarah. Never did. I apologize, Sarah. I keep saying that we need to read it and then I, I don't ask to read it, so we need to change that. Cut of Monte Cristo again, Lord of the Rings again, Anna Karenina again, and Romeo and Juliet. You do love a tragic love story, I see. Franklin and Luna by Jen Campbell. Oh, that's so sweet. 
um, Fault in Our Stars. Fault in Our Stars is one of the first books that I read for, like, for myself for fun when I was maybe 14 or 15, um, and it'll, it'll always have a special place in my heart. Um, let's see. Inkheart, a lot of people love the book Inkheart. I tried reading it and wasn't really in the mood for it, um, a few years ago, so I feel like I should try again. Another person saying Slaughterhouse Five. I feel like I have a spiritual experience every time I read it. Ha ha ha. That's amazing. I'm so glad. That's always such a wonderful feeling to have when you read and love a book. 100 Years of Solitude, another one that a lot of people love. Daddy Long Legs by Jean Webster. That's one that a lot of people were saying, but I've never heard of it before. Um, so I'll have to look into that. Jane Eyre, Jane Eyre again. Um, Brave New World, Jane Eyre again, Master Margarita, To Kill a Mockingbird, one of my favorite books ever. So, so good. Wuthering Heights and A Tale of Two Cities. A Tale of Two Cities is one of the Dickens books that I'm most looking forward to reading, so I'm so excited that it's one of your favorites. Bear Town by Frederick Bachman. Yes! I'm so glad that you love Bear Town as well. It's my favorite contemporary book ever. Um, Frederick Bachman's my favorite contemporary writer and I'm so glad that you love it. I'm sure you are also excited about the third book in the trilogy coming out in, I think, September or October. It's called The Winners. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Oh my gosh. Uh, we have Beloved by Toni Morrison. Max says, this is hard, but I'm gonna say The Rules of Attraction by Brett Easton Ellis. Uh, I know this is a very hard question. I'm sorry. We Have Always Lived in the Castle, a fantastic book. East of Eden by John Steinbeck, How's Moving Castle. Uh, you can't make me choose. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sarah, for making you choose, but you didn't have to choose. You put two and that's totally fine. Never Let Me Go by Kazuo Ishiguro or Welcome to Night Vale as a lesser known favorite. Ooh, interesting. Oh, Don Quixote de la Mancha. Uh, Don Quixote uh, is one of my favorite books ever and Man of La Mancha is one of my favorite plays, musicals. Um, I, I love Cervantes, he's so great. Uh, War and Peace, Brothers Karamazov, Count of Monte Cristo, Circe, Crime and Punishment again, Call Me By Your Name again, Picture of Dorian Gray again, Housekeeper and the Professor, The Amber Spyglass, Brothers Karamazov again, To the Lighthouse, Les Mis, Picture of Dorian Gray, Dracula, Norwegian Wood by Haruki Murakami. I actually have Norwegian Wood on my shelves. I got that recently and I am looking forward to reading it soon. Another Jane Eyre, another To Kill a Mockingbird, Cat of Monte Cristo, Ten in the Wildfell Hall, Another Wuthering Heights, 100 Years of Solitude, A Man Called Uwe, one of my favorite books ever. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are saying Frederick Brockman. Love it. Uh, House of Leaves, Daddy Long Legs Again. I really need to look into that book. Uh, Wuthering Heights. That's such a hard question, but I guess it's Love in the Time of Cholera by Marquez. I know, it is a very hard question. I, I apologize for making you guys choose just one. Um, Little Women, Anna Karenina, and Dr. Zhivago. I've fallen completely in love with 100 Years of Solitude. I am so glad to hear that. Uh, the Secret History, Paranisi again. Picture of Dorian Gray, Jane Eyre, War and Peace, Emma. This is making me so nervous. Nervous in all caps. Where's the PDF attachment option for my answer list? That would be me. That would be me making a whole big list and not being able to pick one. I'm so sorry. Um, uh, I don't mean to make you nervous. <laughs> um, let's see. The Years by Virginia Woolf. Giovanni's Room. So good. The Shadow of the Wind. Crime and Punishment, 1984. So good. Uh, Clockwork Orange. The Hound of the Baskervilles. North and South, Lightning Thief, Anything by Haruki Murakami, uh, Picture of Dorian Gray, Revolutionary Road. I saw a few people say Revolutionary Road, and I have actually never read the book or watched the movie. Doesn't the movie have Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet in it, right? I think so, if it's the same the same story. I recently just rewatched Titanic for like the millionth time, because um, it was, you know, the, the anniversary, and it was so so good. I would watch with my sister. We would watch it over and over and over again when we were younger, like kids, and we had the two VHS set and we would always have to <laughs> switch out the VHSs and we would always watch, uh, watch it at my grandma's as well and Leonardo DiCaprio was probably like my first, first real 
big celebrity crush still is um and yeah so i i would love to read revolutionary road especially knowing that so many people love it someone said hi carolyn i love the tenant of wildfell hall by anne bronte and emma by jane austen um i also love those two books so i'm so glad that you love them as well and hello um then we have black beauty by anna sewell that's another one that i'm surprised i haven't read yet and i would like to read very soon um, A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf, Emma, The Great Gatsby, A Little Life in a Green Gables, Starless Sea. Someone said, I have really took my time thinking about this question, but I really can't name just one. I understand. I understand. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> Jane Eyre, A Little Life. I'm going to start just flying through these, if that's okay. Dorian Gray, uh, The Little Prince, one of my favorite books ever, Love the Little Prince. Let's see, Wuthering Heights again, East of Eden, Little Women, Jane Eyre, uh, Alice in, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass, Rebecca, One Hundred Years of Solitude, Both Skaramazov, Revolutionary Road again. Um, it is one of the most perfect books I've ever read. It's just stunning. Amazing. I'll have to, I'll have to read it. Crime and Punishment, Song of Achilles, East of Eden, Amen Kol Duve. Oh, yay! I'm so happy to see more Frederick Bachman. Love him. Um, Count of Monte Cristo, Jane Eyre, Peter Pan, Harry Potter, Little Prince, Lord of the Rings, uh, Jane Eyre again, Brothers Karamazov, A Little Life, Pride and Prejudice, One Hundred Years of Solitude, Brothers Karamazov, Art and Fear, War and Peace, Gatsby, Rebecca, Crime and Punishment, Little Women, let's see, All the Sherlock Holmes stories, Lord of the Rings, Little Women, Mrs. Dowley, Jane Eyre with a bunch of E's and an exclamation point, War and Peace, War and Peace Again, The Monk, East of Eden, Anne of Green Gables, Little Women, Count of Monte Cristo, Little Prince, Picture of Dorian Gray, Pride and Prejudice, Great Gatsby, East of Eden, Gone with the Wind, Pride and, um, not Pride and Prejudice, Picture of Dorian Gray, Dorian Gray again, Pride and Prejudice, War and Peace, Anne of Green Gables, Song of Achilles, Solaris, Brothers Karamazov, uh, Les Mis, War and Peace, Les Mis, Jane Eyre, Normal People, East of Eden, Frankenstein, Les Mis, uh, Anne of Green Gables, Call Me By Your Name, Anna Karenina, East of Eden, Great Expectations, Watership Down, The A Little Life Les Mis, The Bell Jar, Lord of the Rings, Normal People, Mrs. Dalloway, Anna Karenina, I wonder how many of us will say the same. You guys are on the right channel. That's all I have to say, because <laughs> many of you have, have said the same. Um, Come Here By Your Name, Secret Garden, Atonement, Winnie the Pooh, and finally, Great Expectations. Amazing. Okay, so that completes the screen recorded portion of the video. <laughs> okay, so like I said before, I did write down and tally all of the votes for every single book. So I'm going to go through the ones that had, this is the top 10, so I'm going to go through the ones that had the least amount of votes to the ones that had the most amount of votes. <laughs> Hello Willow, she just woke up from her nap. <laughs> With seven votes coming at number 10, we have Anne of Green Gables by Ella Montgomery. This is one of my favorite books ever. I read it for the first time two years ago now? Three years ago? Oh my god. I can't believe it's been that long. Um, I read it in one month. I read the entire eight book series because I just read one after the other after the other and they are perfect for any season because the nature writing in these books is fantastic. The writing in general, Ella Montgomery is just one of my favorite writers and I definitely understand why this is so many people's favorite books because it's just perfect. It's just absolutely perfect. Highly recommend the whole entire series. It is just brilliant. With eight votes, we have The East of Eden by John Steinbeck. This is a book that I have yet to read, but I am so excited to. I really want to read either East of Eden or Grapes of Wrath. This is a book I'm so eager to pick up, and I'm so glad that so many of you love it and that it's your favorite book. Again, with eight votes, we have... The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexandre Dumas. This is a huge book that I have on my TBR. Yes, it, I, I'm just so scared of it. This thing is like a lethal weapon, <laughs> but I am so excited to read it. I know my friend Sarah from her YouTube channel, Sarah's Perusals, just read this book and absolutely loved it. So it's making me really excited to eventually pick it up. I just have no clue when that will be, but I really would like to read it soon. So who knows? Maybe, maybe I'll get the courage and read it. Should I read it, Willow? Okay, so that is The Count of Monte Cristo. 
Then, with how many votes? With, again, eight votes, we have The Brothers Karamazov by Fyodor Dostoevsky, of course. And this is another big, chunky book that I am kind of scared to read, but also very excited to get to eventually. I think I talked about this in one of my videos, that I think I want to read Dostoevsky from now on in chronological order, because I feel like the reading experience would really benefit from doing that, so that's my plan. Um, I think I have a willow hair on my chin. <laughs> my camera battery just died. How rude. So if you guys shifted at all, that's why. But I was just going to announce a very exciting book, and that one has 10 votes. So with 10 votes, we have Anna Karenina, my favorite book of all time. I don't have to say anything about this book. If you have been here for any length of time, you have heard me talk about it enough. Um, I love it very much. It is the best, and you should read it. And that is all. <laughs> the next book has 11 votes. And that is Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. This is another one of my favorite books, like I said earlier. It is just so wholesome and sweet and wonderful, and I read it for the first time a few years ago now, and I would definitely love to do a reread of it. It's just one of those books that I read, and, and I feel like I'm home, and I feel comforted and like I am just one of the March sisters. So if you have yet to read Little Women or watch any of the adaptations, they're all fantastic. The book is even more fantastic and I just, I just love it. So Little Women. Then with another 11 votes, that is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. It was my first Jane Austen, first of all, and second of all, it is just one of those books that I read it and I just feel like Every word is perfect, and I love Jane Austen, and I love this story, and it is just one of those books that I just, I read it and I'm happy, and what more can you ask for from a book? Pride and Prejudice. If you haven't read Jane Austen, please, please read Pride and Prejudice. Emma is also amazing, um, but Pride and Prejudice is so good. Then the next book we have, are you able to see what it is? I think it's on this side with 12 votes. That is The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. This is an incredible, beautiful work of art. This book isn't only a book, it is a work of art. The way that Oscar Wilde puts the words together, it's like it's like no other author writes, and and it's every every sentence, every page is just beautiful. The way that he writes about art, the creative process is so just accurate to how I feel as well and and the influence that art has on us and the influence that literature has on us and the influence that people in general have on us good and bad it's just this book is just so brilliant and if you haven't read The Picture of Doreen Gray please change that and read The Picture of Doreen Gray because it is amazing it is so good in the number two spot we have a book with how many votes does it have 12 votes and that is War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. It beat Anna Karenina, which I was very shocked by, but also not at the same time. War and Peace is brilliant. It is life-changing. I read this book during my graduation from college process. So like I started it before I graduated from my university and then I finished it after having graduated. And so it was with me for this really pivotal part in my life and it was just an incredibly life-changing experience and I loved it and this book it is huge but it, it flies by and you feel like you have a whole life with the book and like you are one of the characters and Tolstoy is just a genius and just everything about it is perfect and I, I understand why so many of you love it and why it's your favorite books because it really is just so life-changing and and amazing and uh, I just it's just it's just perfect I'm going to move the books over so that you can see them now that the spines are showing then the number one book with how many votes did it have 16 votes so i don't know if you have guessed this i said this name a bunch of times 16 people love this book and it's their favorite book 
out of the many people that responded to my message or my question box, and that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Willow is getting up because she too loves Jane Eyre. <laughs> um, Jane Eyre is also one of my favorite books. Before having read Anna Karenina, Jane Eyre was my favorite book of all time um, until I read Anna Karenina and it just completely changed so much. Um, but Jane Eyre is the book that really got me into reading classics. I owe a lot to Jane Eyre because without having read it, I don't think I would be the reader that I am today and the person that I am today without having read Jane Eyre. I have a whole, I have two videos on books that have changed my life and the first one is Anna Karenina and the second one is Jane Eyre. So if you want to hear me talk much more about Anna Karenina and Jane Eyre, then I will definitely link those videos in the cards and in the description. But Jane Eyre, I, I understand why so many of you love it. It is a groundbreaking, amazing, perfect book and I just, I love it. I'm so glad you love it and I'm so glad that we can share so many favorite books with each other. Um, Willow, why don't you, why don't you show your face so that everyone can see you? She's just like standing awkwardly on my leg. There you are. <laughs> She's looking out of the window. Do you see people outside? <laughs> it is just so wonderful to to be able to have a community of readers that just understand the love you have for books and can just can revel in in the bookish joy. So that is all for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you so much for participating if you did participate and I would love to do this again maybe in a year or so to see if it changed or maybe um, keep doing those question and answer boxes. I think that that's really fun and it's a way to have an interactive experience that I really enjoy doing. So anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for the recommendations and I hope you got some recommendations out of this video as well. I will see you soon in another video. Happy reading.